all, it's me here and today I'm going to do a first impression on the A2000 Dear Darling Water Gel Tint Set and it's the Winter Ice variation which looks like this and there's four colors in here and the packaging looks like this and these are all colors from the new collection these ice cream type of tints came out already this summer but these are the new darker winter appropriate colors so i'm going to try them out each after one and see how i like them so let's start so i just got them out of the packaging and they look like this look how cute i'm going to try the first color which is or207 and this one is the one which looks most watery in the video so let me just try to apply this i will try and swatch it on my hand first so this is how the tint looks like and as you can see there's a bit of an orange undertone on there and this is the most watery ones of them and i think with the yellow cap on there it really symbolize the orange undertone so i'm wondering how this will look on my lips and i'm doubting if i should do like a full lip with them or just a gradient lip because my lip shape is a bit weird so i guess i will try to see how gradient lip looks like first and then maybe try a full lip afterwards so yeah let's just apply this wow that's really pigmented. So you can definitely see the orangey yellowy undertone on there and i really like this color just smudging out the edges here i'm wondering if i should add a bit more of a gradient effect but i think so far i really like this color i'm loving it as a gradient and if you apply it as a gradient you can really see the orange undertone so I felt that it was really really pigmented and really watery I don't know if you can see that but the Dover applicator is also really tiny and cute but it's actually really convenient with this one to apply to the lips so let's do a full lippy now and I think I will only apply a little bit of this and not do like a full on type of lip because as I said my lip shape is really weird and I better make it a bit gradient like this and I prefer this method with a lot of lip tints to do like a kind of gradient based full lip and I'm applying a little as I go because the color is so pigmented I don't want to apply too much So this is the first color you can see the tint on my hand which i applied i applied it really thickly and it doesn't even dry up right now it's still a bit wet so i think if you apply it like in a really thick coating it will take a long while to kind of dry up and soak into your lips so i think this is a better way of applying it and it looks really cute i like it so let's try the next color okay so i tried to remove most of it but it's kind of hard to take off <laughs> i think most of it is gone now so this is the oh no <laughs> the next <laughs> okay again so let's go to the next color which is rd308 da -da -da. looks so cute and this has a brown cap i don't know if it has more of a brownish undertone in on it but we will see 
So let me swatch it for you guys first. And it looks more warm on the tones compared to the other one. So this is the second color which is the RD308. And that was the first one which was OR207. I'm peeking here. So you can see definitely this has a more orangey undertone and this is more like a staple red I think. So let's see how this one looks on my lips. And just like before I'm starting off with a bit of a light gradient and then building it up. Let's go. <laughs> So this is how it looks with one light coating. So the color definitely definitely looks like a staple red, but when you look up close, it looks a bit pink undertoned as well. So I think this is more of a neutral red. So let's see how it looks as we build up the color. So this is the color with kind of my full gradient. And I'm really really loving these colors. These are so cute. I think they will look great with like a full red lip as well. Even though I try to build up the gradient, you can see it tones my lips completely and kind of quickly as well. So yeah, I'm liking that. I'm really loving this red color as well. I think it's a really good everyday color and I think both of them so far really are. This is a bit more of a thicker consistency as the first one was more watery and this is more gel type. So yeah, that was the second color which was RD308. Okay, I tried really hard removing this lip tint. But I scrubbed really hard, so I'll definitely be using my Laneige sleeping pack tonight. <laughs> but yeah, just for the sake of making the video, right? So the next color is a bit of a darker color, I guess. It's the BR403. And this looks a bit darker, but a bit more like brown i guess or a bit more leaning towards purple so i'm wondering how this will look on my lips so let's swatch it first it's the third one here this actually looks lighter but it looks more like a rose brown red something it's really difficult for me to tell but i'm really curious how this will look on my lips so let's apply. Apply to up till we die. Mm. This is lighter in consistency, like less pigmented, but the color is darker. I think I will just apply this to my lips like as a full lip With this one, it's definitely more difficult to build up the color because the pigment is less visible, I guess, in this one. But the color is more dark but more neutral at the same time. The previous one was really like a staple red as this is more like a daily red, something more toned down, which I think is suitable for the office or just a date or something like that. I think so far this is really my favorite color let me see up close yeah I'm loving this BR403 color I think this is my favorite so far 
So let's go on to the last one. So let's remove this. Okay, so now onto the final color. And as you can see, there's still a bit of residue on my lips. But <laughs> that's just because I cannot remove it. I tried to rub really hard, like look at all these tissues. I tried to rub really hard, but even if I rub now, there's not much coming off. So I think we'll just have to do with that and see how the last one looks i hope you don't mind but it's just that i cannot rub any harder or think my lips will just split into pieces and we don't want that to happen i think a bit of exfoliation is good but not that much <laughs> so let's try the last color which is the br402 and i think this is a more brownish color so this color has a bit of a brown undertone with it in it and it has some really fine glitter particles as well as it may be a bit difficult to see on the camera but there's definitely a glimmer in there so i think this is more of a full lip kind of color as well just like the previous one but yeah let me swatch this and see if we'll do a full lip or some kind of gradient or some kind of in between lip so let me swatch this so this is the BR402 and it definitely has a more brown undertone like the previous one as well. Only this one looks a bit more pigmented and you cannot really see the glitter but there's a really fine sparkle in here as well. So I'm really curious. It has a bit of a dried rose kind of feel. Hmm. Oh my god. Look at this color guys. I think I found my favorite. This is so pretty. Just like the previous one, it's a bit difficult to build like a kind of gradient lip. So I think these last two, the BR403 and the BR402, are a bit more difficult ones to pull off the gradient lip look. Because they are a bit more gel-like. And that makes it more difficult to do like the gradient lip thing. I think the first two work really well for gradient lips. But the last two are a bit more of a full lip kind of color. So I think that's something you keep in mind. But that being said, the variety in this set is really good. There's two more watery kind of tints and then two more gel kind of tints. And they are both, all four of them are somehow red colors but all with a different undertone so i think these colors will suit anybody i think there isn't really a color in there which isn't really wearable so in that case it's a really good set and i love all of these colors actually sometimes you have the sets and there's one color that nobody actually likes but i think if you purchase this set you will actually really love all colors so i think that's a really good thing and it did house did really well these i think these are really really long lasting because i cannot even get them off and yeah so far really really good definitely br402 is my favorite color so let me know in the comments if you tried these colors as well and if you like them or if you want to try them please let me know which color you thought was looking the best and I hope you enjoyed this video. So thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Damn.